with only one turn to go. Can he make it? You in the 500, and we got both cars into uh, the top 12 here tonight. Or today, it's it's you know no doubt it's tough. You know we've uh, we've worked really hard to try and uh, try and keep up with these guys. Obviously, you know the Penske guys, the Ganassi guys, have been very strong. Um, you know, and Dreddy with Carlos being the representative up here, they, they struggle with their other cars, so awesome job to him. Uh, it's great to see a couple Hondas in the Fast Six, certainly. But it's, you know, it's, it's the nature of the beast, you know, it's, it's a super competitive series, so even a, even a dominant team is only dominant by a tenth or two. And, uh, you know, if we, if we do our homework every week, then hopefully we can find that tenth or two as on our achievement goal, and, and we can keep racing with these guys, and we can and we can. Question for Elliot, who was talking during class? Hello, do you, were you uh, aware that you set a course record out there, and if so, it, it's interesting because you set it in the 12, and then it doesn't carry over to help you get the bullet on Is that an interesting little work? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I did that. I was supposed to do the track record on the last one, not on the first one. Uh, but uh, in the end of the day, you don't pick and choose. It's uh, you, you do your best, and unfortunately, uh, the last one, we just, um, my car somehow feels very good in the blacks. Not so much comfortable with trying the uh, first Q, Q1, and I was struggling a little bit, and then uh, Q2 was just absolutely awesome. And we were debating what to do, and uh, we decided to just go with the red, and uh, maybe it wasn't the, the, the right choice, but it is what it is. And uh, it's started, at least starting the front row is always good, so we'll go get them on tomorrow. It's going to light up there. Uh, yeah, for one and all, um, is the track tougher than it was last year? It's become bumpier, or a few people are not seem to be too happy about it. I think it's a little bit bumpier in some, some parts of the track, for sure, than last year. Uh, front straight, there's a little bit more bump than it used to. Uh, but it's, it's the same for everyone, right? So you have to adjust the car for it, and for sure it's a little bit more bumpy. Monto and I think it's fantastic. <laughs> shouldn't change a bit. It actually should get more bumpy. There is probably, what, I think there's like three or four big bumps that they need to fix. Everything else is really good. I mean, I think the track's got a lot of character. It makes it, I mean, the this one, two segment, the last two corners. Yeah, I mean, there's really good character. It makes it really tough. Every corner is different. You know, the grip level changes, and so you gotta be your toes all the time. You know, you gotta break over bumps. It makes it really interesting. Yeah, there's a couple of bumps. One pass, pit entrance, and a couple on the back straight are a little too big, but apart from that, it's fine. Back to Bruce. Was Mark the thing? Oh, come on. Carlos, you won here last year. It was a rain race. The strategy was kind of up in the air. Possibility on Sunday there might be a little bit of rain, so just you know, what your thoughts are when you start thinking as a team of how to win rain races with your time rather than laps. Yeah, I feel really comfortable with the rain the whole time. Um, I think I'm really fast in the rain as well. Uh, but you know, this year the Honda had made the the Euro kit much better. Uh, like last year, uh, I didn't feel the downforce. This year, I feel more the downforce in two of us. At least it's much more physical this year because I feel the downforce. Um, but yeah, I'm a good starting spot fifth. But this is in the car, you know. It's it's all depend on the strategy. Uh, but also, you have to be quick, you know. Actually, this like I said, my my first fast six. Like normal fast six, so you know, um, my teammates are saying they're being be back. I don't know what happened to them, uh, but you know, um, I think we have to still work in, work to do in, like as a team in the road course, so street courses. I think we are behind a little bit still. Just come down, Mary down front here. Elio, uh, at the Angie's list. Grand Prix, when the race was over, you made the comment that Roger was giving you so many reports you really didn't want him to tell you. Right now, are you going to go back and tell him that he didn't give you enough information about qualifying? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> yeah, he does a very good job, let me tell you. I think the drivers complain more than sometimes they, they need to, so I'm not saying anything. Okay. Now, as far as the bumps out on this track, you know, Hinge said that you're in the air part of the time. Um, you know, is this something that, in terms of trying to actually drive through the track itself, I mean, are there times when um, you hit so hard that you could have a headache or you bang yourself around in the car, maybe you lose your foot off the brake or the throttle? I mean, how difficult is it? Well, that's a, that's the characteristic of this place, and uh, it is. It's, it can happen to me, it can happen to anybody here. 
especially when the tires start degrading a little bit, and you might all of a sudden not expect or hit the bump in a wrong spot. So uh, it's um, it's the same for everyone, you know. And um, uh, whoever makes uh, probably less mistake probably going to be uh, in good shape. for Hinge. Um, do you think the performance in Indy last weekend will kind of help you moving forward into this weekend's race, considering you're starting fourth? Um, you know, it's, you're going from the, the biggest, widest open track that we go to the tightest, bumpiest place that we go. There's not a whole lot that translates. So for us, you know, it, it's nice having the momentum in the team, certainly, and you know, that gives everybody on the team a bit of confidence. But, you know, to run well at the Speedway and then to come here on a completely different polar opposite uh, racetrack and, and run well again. You know, it's it's just it, it speaks volumes for how hard these guys are working on the aero car and and, uh, and how prepared we are coming into these weekends. So it uh, you know running around up front at Indy doesn't really give you any experience. That's super valid running around up front here. But, uh, but you know competing at the front of races is good. You know having that pressure, pressure pit stops, things like that, and the whole team's been performing well. So hopefully we can kind of carry that going forward this weekend. Tony. Carlos, how did you get through this week? I mean, this had to have been a really tough week coming off of how close it could have been. And then did that give you any renewed confidence or focus to come out here and, um, you know, just want to continue to be on top? Um, yeah, you know, like I say, the next day, you know, I, I forgot about this the second place, whatever, you know, a lot of dark wanted to finish second, that's for sure. And then we're home <laughs> watching the race. Uh, you know, like I said, I think I said to you, I haven't been driving so good, I think this year, been driving so good, even the result didn't show a lot in the road courses, but for the package we have, I had or whatever I had in that moment, I think I've never been so good driving. Uh, the result doesn't show, but I've been, for me, emotionally, I've been driving the best ever of my career right now, you know, this year. Elio, does it seem like it's been 16, 17 years since you climbed the fence? Uh, no. It's it's uh, it feels like yesterday, and uh, it's it's so funny. It's so awesome to see the fans bringing over uh, memories like that, and uh, it just gives you a little more extra. So um, it's just uh, that's why I was as frustrated as the race um, when we didn't get the pole position because it's it's uh, this place is really really cool. So, uh, but it feels uh, it feels like it was yesterday. For Mr. Montoya, um, do you think if uh, they fix the missing say this track is that at its worst, would you like to see the uh, event back next year? What do you mean? What do you mean at, at its worst? Uh, you mentioned bits of the track that like the bumps that are. There's something two bumps. Cool. Yeah, three is three in the back straight, one here is four bumps. Oh, otherwise, it's good. Yeah. Right, thank you. Any more questions? All right, gentlemen, that will let you go. Thank you very much. Congratulations. We'll have our. Horizon P1 award winner for Simon Pagano in shortly.